In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom variant in Plant vs. Zombies God of Warfare 2 because my old tutorial was, well, complete crap. <laughs> so I'm going to explain it better this time. Alright, so let's say we want to make like a, a pea shooter variant, right? So you're going to want to find this pea cannon weapon, which is just the default pea shooter weapon. And you're going to want to click export. And then you want to save as type, not as an XML file, but as a binary file. It has to be a binary file. And you want to do the same thing for pcanon underscore bullet, which is the projectile that it shoots. Unfortunately, due to the limitations of this software, you can't actually create brand new weapons. You have to use unused ones. Luckily, there are like over a hundred unused weapons in this game for some reason. For this one, we're going to be looking at a uh, soldier, yeah. These are a bunch of unused soldier weapons, which are leftovers from Garden Warfare 1. So, you're going to want to import over AI underscore assault rifle, and you want to import P cannon over that. And you want to duplicate the asset. And call it something like new p variant underscore weapon and then click save and as you'll see it's uh it's down there so then you want to import over the same ai underscore assault rifle file again and this time select p cannon underscore bullet so then you duplicate it again now you want to select AI Assault Rifle again, and then come down here to the bottom, and it will, there's, there's these little tabs that say Log, Bookmarks, Bundles, and References. So, you want to go into References, and here will be a file called AI underscore Assault Rifle underscore BPB. Now, you want to open this file, and then you go to Blueprint, and as you see, it says invalid because we um kind of completely destroyed AI assault rifle by importing a bullet over it. So you want to select the new weapon and you want to dump it in there. Now that will tell the game to use that weapon when you load up AI underscore assault rifle. Another thing. If you're using an unused weapon, like if you go into references and underneath the BPB file you'll see something called a BPB network registry. Now, you want to open this if it does have it. Open up objects, and where it says the original weapon name, or it will just say invalid if you've already exported over it, you want to assign selected asset with the new weapon, otherwise the game will crash immediately upon launch. So now you want to open new P variant underscore weapon. Open object. Go down to aiming controller. Now, unfortunately, the aiming controller is probably not in the correct bundle. And because of this, the game's gonna crash if you try load it up. So you wanna open you wanna click these uh click these three little dots here and click open asset. And then here you'll find data and a bunch of random crap. You just wanna right click this, select copy, go back into the new P variant weapon. And then paste. And then you want to open up zoom levels. And you'll see default underscore base P cannon non-rooted zoom. So you want to open this. Copy it. And then paste it over itself. There you go. And you want to do the same for the zoom. And there you go. So that will stop the game crashing, hopefully. So now in weapon firing, you want to open primary fire. Go down to projectiles. Open this. And you see here, there's a bunch of bullets. Unfortunately, these are also in the wrong bundle. So if you open the game yet again and fire this weapon, the game's going to crash. So you want to, with the new P variant bullet selected in this little menu thingy, right click this 
well, no, just click this arrow where it says assign from selected asset in projectile data and projectile. All right, so some bullets use da game data container assets, which are a bit different. Basically, you want to go down into projectiles and then click the little dots and then select clear assigned object on both of these. And then only in projectile data, you select assign from select. That's it, and that's it. and only do this if it's a game data container asset. If it's not, if it's just a normal projectile, then you want to just do what I just did then and assign it to the projectile as well. So now that is done, we well, so we're almost done, but. What you want to do now is go into AI data and AI data co-op. You don't need to do this if you're not planning on adding AI of your character, but you want to select clear assigned object for now. This, well, unfortunately they won't be able to use this weapon, but you can just create brand new AI weapon data, which I'll probably show you how to do in a different tutorial if this one goes well. But this will just stop the game crashing if an AI somehow uses this weapon. That's basically it. So now we have to actually put the weapon in the game. So we search in pea shooter, go into kits, plant underscore pea shooter, weapon table, unlock parts, primary, and right click and select insert after, and go find AI assault rifle, and you'll wanna. With this selected, click this arrow where it says null and assign from selected asset. And then go into weapon visual table, go into visual unlocks, and find P cannon. You want to copy this and you'll want to paste this. Yeah, there you go. And then, yeah, that should be it. I'll see you when I launch the game. Alright, so now I'm in Garden Warfare 2 with this mod equipped. You wanna find P Shooter, and down here you'll see a little soldier profile picture. And look, guys, it's Foot Soldier. You wanna open this and look. Wow. Look, guys, it's the Z1 Assault Blaster. Now, as you can see, all the effects and stuff are gone. There's no, um,. Rectical bloom, which is when like the, the little crosshair expands when you shoot. And, uh, if this video does well, then I'll probably make more tutorials so you can get like actual variants instead of this weird bootleg pea shooter thing. So, yeah, thanks for watching and bye.